Coming up on the DMT Upside, Gulf Coast Growth Ventures announces a $100,000 gift to support homegrown careers. We'll explain. Del Mar College announced the 2018 recipient of the prestigious Dr. Eileen Creighton Award for Teaching Excellence. We'll tell you all about it. Del Mar College graduates walk to the stage during the 2018 Summer Commencement Ceremony. We'll take you there. We'll also bring you information on the Del Mar College Cosmetology Program and the Child Development Early Childhood Program, a Del Mar College music professor, along with College Relations and Del Mar TV, are producing a series on the story of the horn. We also have our regular segments, Boardwatch and Around Campus. Hello and welcome to our September edition of the DMC Upside. I'm Carlos Garantois. And I'm Emily Gonzalez. We've got the latest news and information about Del Mar College. Representatives from Gulf Coast Growth Ventures announced a donation of $100,000 to the San Patricio County Workforce Development Consortium. This will support Del Mar College's career and technical education programs in the county's high schools. On August 2, 2018, representatives from Del Mar College, ExxonMobil's Gulf Coast Growth Ventures, SABIC, and San Patricio County Independent School District gathered at Gregory Portland High School's Welding Lab for a major gift announcement. Today we're celebrating a donation by Gulf Coast Growth Ventures, which is given to the, all of the ISDs, the high schools throughout San Patricio County, to build career technology programs or enhance the ones that already exist. These dollars will be spread throughout the entire county, so every community in San Patricio County will benefit because those high schools will benefit. They'll be able to buy technology for the classrooms that help prepare their students for those in-demand, high-paying jobs that are coming to this county. ExxonMobil and Sabic both have a uh, part of our Good Neighbor program. A foundational element of that program is education and workforce development. And this consortium is actually right in the wheelhouse of what we try to do with the community around education and workforce. Del Mar College's role is to work with the ISDs to seek funding through grants, donations from industry partners, and other sources to make the programs possible. It's helping us in our in life, our careers. It's, it's helping us set up what we want to do with our lives. It's giving us opportunities to take classes that not many people would normally take. I mean, there's not many high schools out there that have actual college classes in them. It's definitely a relief because uh, getting jobs nowadays isn't the easiest thing in the world. So knowing that the school actually cares and is directly involved with Del Mar College and they have the class available here, it definitely helps get us a head start. It is critical for that partnership to be in place for our students, not only in our high schools, but all of the other high schools to get dual credit courses before they graduate from high school. And it is also critical working in partnership with Del Mar to get the industry certification that many of our students obtain before leaving high school. For more information on Del Mar College's dual credit programs, call 361-698-1634 or go online to www.delmar.edu slash dual credit. We're taking a short break, but we'll be right back. Are you adventurous, a real thrill seeker? Join Del Mar College Foundation's Over the Edge fundraiser to support student scholarships. Raise funds from family, friends, and colleagues through social media to earn the opportunity to rappel down 20 stories of a Bayfront hotel October 20th. Learn more at www.delmar.edu slash foundation or call 698-1317. Become one of Corpus Christi's 2018 Repelling Trend Centers and go over the edge to support Del Mar College scholarships. You'll have the thrill of a lifetime. Vikings are tough. They don't back down from a challenge. That's why at Del Mar College, they've been our symbol of discovery and perseverance since 1935. Today, that Viking spirit thrives more than ever as we develop the next generation of innovators, problem solvers, entrepreneurs, and leaders. Because to go from just getting by to finally getting ahead, it takes a Viking. Del Mar College, dreams delivered. Since the moment you were born, I've made a thousand wishes. Wishes for your future in a world that's changing fast. Do play and laugh. Do win and lose. Do it all with confidence, kindness, 
and strength. And always do your best to remember that no matter what you do in this life, what matters to me is that you keep doing. Welcome back. There is no higher honor presented by Del Mar College to its faculty than the Dr. Eileen Creighton Award for teaching excellence. During fall convocation, the college announced its latest recipient of this very prestigious award. Del Mar College established the Dr. Eileen Creighton Award in August of 2002, with faculty and administrators agreeing that the vision, ability to teach on the cutting edge, and other educational contributions during Dr. Creighton's official 42-year career merited creating an annual award in her name. Faculty members who emulate her legacy are recognized as a master teacher. This year's recipient was awarded to the chairperson and professor in the Department of Kinesiology, Dr. Judy Phillips. It's a tremendous honor to be receiving the Island Creighton Award. I am sincerely grateful to be part of the recipients and am humbled that my colleagues felt that I possessed the qualities and attributes reflected in this award. When I first came to Del Mar, I really did not expect to stay here for very long. And then every time I needed a change or a challenge, an, an, an opportunity or a new experience would appear and another door would open for me. I want my students to leave class with an understanding of not only the what, the where, the how, but most importantly, the why. If I can get them to understand why it's important to be physically active, then maybe they'll adopt an active lifestyle and then pass that lifestyle down to their children. I've met amazing colleagues, learned a tremendous amount from my students and my experiences at Del Mar, and in looking back, I know without a doubt I'm where I belong. Del Mar College offers training in all phases of cosmetology. Under the curriculum guidelines of the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, students who successfully complete the courses will earn a certificate from Del Mar College. The Del Mar College Cosmetology Program trains students in all phases of this field. Students successfully completing the program earn a certificate from Del Mar College and become eligible to take the state's written and practical exam. Our program is 1,500 hours, it's three semesters, attendance is is mandatory. It's very crucial that students realize that they ha must attend school every day, which it's like a job, a full-time job. They must attend school, get the curriculum in, get their hours in, and prepare to become a, a professional out there in this industry. They really teach you like what you need to know like in the real world. Like they start you off with haircutting, brow waxing, pedicures, facials, anything that you need in the real world, they teach you and they teach you right. They also get you set up for like the state board testing, the state board written, they really get you set up and prepared. Practitioners in this field are in high demand. The Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation reports that over 25,000 students are enrolled in cosmetology across the state and over 140,000 licensed professionals work in Texas. I want to go into a shop. I want to have a feel for how they do it, how they run it, and then eventually open up my own. While other private and public programs exist, benefits from Del Mar College's cosmetology program include an apprenticeship program, which hires students while they attend school part-time. For me, personally, when I was here at Del Mar, Del Mar is very structured. They have a very set way on how they do things, and I think it's great that they have that because, honestly, if it wasn't for structure, it would just go out of bounds. We have a, a wide range of students that come through our program, different ages, male, female, and it's very rewarding and it's very exciting to see our students complete the program and do exceptionally well and do wonderful things out there in the industry. So it makes us feel good as educators. For more information on the Del Mar College Cosmetology Program, call 361-698-2809. Del Mar College offers an Associate in Applied Science degree or Certificate in Child Development and Early Childhood. The curriculum is designed to prepare an individual to educate and care for young children 
from birth through age eight. The Del Mar College Child Development Early Childhood Program has excelled for almost 40 years, offering diverse options that prepare students for this high demand field. Me being a male um, student in a early childhood class and also a male teacher, um, it's a great atmosphere. The professors and the teachers, they're awesome. They um, teach you from the beginning to the end and make sure that you're going to learn. Del Mar College's program provides an on-site child care center, the Morris L. Lichtenstein Jr. Center for Early Learning, that serves as a teaching model for child development early childhood majors. The child development early childhood curriculum is designed to prepare an individual to educate and care for young children from birth through age 12. The child development early childhood program is something that individuals who are wanting to go into early childhood education, curriculum development, working as a parent educator, or just want to strengthen their parenting skills. We offer a variety of different classes and with those different avenues. Employment opportunities for professionals in the child development early childhood field have grown by 12% in the Coastal Bend and by 24% statewide. Positions ranging from child care director, teacher or assistant to family advocate, camp counselor, latchkey worker, and many other professional positions, graduates work in rewarding settings and impact the lives of the Coastal Bend's youngest residents. I very much enjoyed sitting in on the classes and uh, listening uh, to lecture and then to have hands-on activities just like we would do um, when we get into the classroom. We would actually do hands-on activities within the class, um, help each other create activities and learn how to lesson plan, um, and then take those activities into classrooms, uh, not just here at the Early Learning Center, but at other uh, child care centers and uh, preschool, preschool academies throughout, throughout the city. For information on the Del Mar College Child Development and Early Childhood Program, call 361-698-2809. It's time for a break, but don't go away. There's more of the DMC Upside coming up. What does it take to join a leading workforce training center, helping new industry meet new demand, where higher education is affordable, no matter the situation? What does it take to go from, how can I afford this, to how can I afford not to? It takes a Viking. Del Mar College, dreams delivered. Are you a former military service member looking to start a new career? If so, Del Mar College can help you enter the trucking industry at little or no cost to you. A grant from the Texas Workforce Commission pays the tuition for former service members to earn a Class A commercial driver's license at Del Mar College. Truck driver training takes just four weeks of daytime classes or 10 weeks of evening classes. To learn more about the Skills for Transition program, contact Del Mar College's Veteran Services Office at 361-698-1683 or email egoodrow at delmar.edu. Thanks for staying with us. The Del Mar College Board of Regents includes nine regions in a modified single member district configuration. Five regions represent specific geographic districts, while four serve at large. They hold regular meetings on the second Tuesday of the month. The Board of Regents for the Del Mar College District convened for their regular meeting on September 11th, 2018. During recognitions, it was noted that a Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Financial Reporting for the fiscal year that ended August 31, 2017, was awarded for the College's Comprehensive Annual Financial Report and the Popular Annual Financial Report. And it's my pleasure to represent my team who chooses not to come down and take a bow, but they are really the ones who put together the Popular Annual Financial Report, which is normally considered uh, an annual report that is more the uh, 
slice that the pu general public is likely to care about that has the photographs and the, the pretty graphs and things like that. A little less technical, a, a little top of the waves rather than the very deep dive of the certified annual financial plan. But they work together working off the same data and we'll be working on the next edition of both before too long. So with, this is what the certificate looks like and then we get a, a little medallion to put on a plaque that's in our individual offices, one for each publication. Under faculty recognitions, the program director and assistant professor of emergency medical services, Melissa Steve, has been selected to write questions for the National Registry of Emergency Medical Technicians paramedic exam. Her input as a subject matter expert is critical in the exam writing process for national EMS certification. As an exam item writer, she will draft questions based on a list of tasks provided from the current exam, then join other selected members at the national office to review all content prepared by the panel. I just want to thank everybody from Del Mar College that supported me in this and will support me further on. I think this is going to be a great opportunity for our program to be able to write items and also give us a basis of how they write their questions. And so it will help develop our program a little bit more and help our students pass their exams on the first try. Dr. Mark Escamilla, President and CEO for Del Mar College, presented the College President's Report. And on, on August 20th, we kicked off the year with convocation. Thank you all for the regents who were able to attend. Uh, we missed those who weren't, but uh, it was another great kickoff to the fall. I spent some time you know, talking to the faculty and staff about what, what to expect. And it's, it's a lot, I think the, re, you know, the reason I put this on here was because a lot of the themes that we talked about at convocation are the themes that we're talking about here. So we're making sure that we're tying all these conversations together. Uh, then a couple days later, on August 27th, there was a uh, big press release and press opportunity um, at, uh, at, in San Patricio County at Gregory Portland High School's welding laboratory, which we help actually build um, for the school. And Gulf Coast Growth Ventures was there to announce their first $100,000 donation to the San Patricio County Consortium, of which we are the fiscal... Um, point of fiscal agent um, for that organization. The entire reading of the Del Mar College Board of Regents can be seen on digital cable in Corpus Christi every Friday at 2 p.m. and Saturday at 7 p.m. You can also watch it online at youtube.com slash Del Mar College. There's been a great deal of controversy regarding professional athletes taking a knee during our national anthem. We went around campus asking for our students' opinion on this matter. As a veteran, I find it very disrespectful. Um, I think political opinions should be left outside the field and they should um, stand up for the national anthem. That's something that we were taught since we were young. It's just to show respect for those who fought for our freedom and they're serving our country right now. I just get up and go to school every day. I take my kids to school. I mean, some kids do it at school because they see it on TV. I feel like everyone has their right to their own opinion, the right to their own thing. Just know I gotta keep, keep trucking because my kids follow, so. I think that uh, players taking a knee in the National Football League is inappropriate. You can't do those kinds of things when you're in a normal job, so using that as a <clears throat> platform shouldn't be allowed. Taking a knee, he's standing up for something besides, you know, just following everything, every, all the other players, but he stood up for what he's believing in. And uh, yeah, I really like that he did that and it shows a lot. I feel that it's wrong because like people in the like wars and everywhere, like they fought for them, for their freedom. And so why be like disrespectful and nil? I don't think it's a good thing to do because it uh, puts down our national anthem in there. and. As professional athletes, they should be more professional. Typically, I feel like their opinion should be subsided to the actual event that's taking place. So I feel like generally when we're paying these athletes, you know, millions and millions of dollars a year, um, I don't really see the point and why that really all matters at a football game when we're there to just celebrate the teams. The memorable tune, Pomp and Circumstance could be heard inside the Del Mar College Richardson Performance Hall during the 2018 Summer Commencement Ceremony. Over 250 prospective graduates 
walked the stage that evening. Finishing studies and taking finals was on the minds of prospective Del Mar College students who walked the stage for graduation. The college held its summer commencement in Richardson Performance Hall on Friday, August 17, 2018. The Senior Regional HR Public Affairs Representative for the Central West South Region of New Star, C. Michelle Unda, served as the commencement speaker. Here's what I do remember about my time at Del Mar College. I remember learning through trial and error, lots and lots of error, to parallel park in front of the Harvin Center so I could pick up a breakfast taco and be in class on time. It took me a few weeks to get the hang of it, and a few classmates made fun of me, but I got it, and I never had to drop an 8 a.m. class. I remember spending hours in a chair on the third floor of the White Library, studying and napping, I remember getting to know people from my high school better because we were the only ones from our class that ended up on this campus. I remember tutoring and mentoring other students and making lifelong friends at the TRIO Student Services. And I remember spending an entire day in 2001 in front of a TV in the library because it was 9-11. What I quickly learned about this campus was that there was no judgment at any turn. We, the student body, came from all backgrounds, all walks of life, and not a single one of us had had it easy. All had a rough beginning. Many of us were still pushing through and trying to dodge all of the pitfall, pitfalls of adulthood. But what makes you and I different from all of the others is that we made it through. Summer commencement was a joyous occasion filled with excitement and laughter. The Del Mar College Fall Commencement is scheduled for Thursday, December 13, 2018 at the American Bank Center Arena. For information on enrolling for classes at Del Mar College, call 361-698-1290. Carl Kim, Professor of Music and Humanities at Del Mar College with the College Relations Office and Del Mar TV, are collaborating on a video series titled The Story of the Horn. This short series will cover interesting facts behind the origin of this musical instrument. Del Mar College Television, in conjunction with College Relations and Professor of Music and Humanities Carl Kim, production continues on the multi-part documentary, Story of the Horn. The Story of the Horn traces the history and uses of various brass, organic, and natural created instruments in the horn family. I remember going on a band trip to Hawaii one time where there's some people selling conch shells. And I thought, hmm, you know, if I, they were only about $13 each. You get a shell, you know, there's one. Next year, maybe I get something else. And over time, I accumulated some stuff. Uh, additionally, when I was in college, I was studying the history of the horn. There was this book called The Pictorial History of the Horn, lots of nice pictures, and uh, um, I read it all the time, and um, it, it inspired me. And over time, I added more and more horns and uh, put it together, did more research, and it started going into other uh, related things like the language, the culture, and so forth. I was aware of a lot of cultures, a lot of religions, a lot of philosophies, and I became a horn player and eventually became aware that it fit into all of these areas. And so, yes, it's, it's, it is kind of a point, this whole cultural uh, awareness of this thing that you blow into how it's used, why is it used, how do they make it, all of that's interesting to me. The next one, this uh, third one, is going to be focusing on the shofar. And there's an obvious cultural association with that particular instrument. But people may not be aware of the different types of shofars. There's a lot of um, cultural and religious and, and a few other uh, things too, even military associations with that particular instrument. Episode 1 of Story of the Horn can be found on the college's website and YouTube. Episode 2 and 3 are currently still in production and will be available later this year. For information on the Del Mar College Music Program, go online to www.delmar.edu slash music. That's a wrap for this edition of the DMC Upside. The DMC Upside is on digital cable in Corpus Christi every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. You can also view it online at youtube.com slash Delmar College. We plan to have a new show in October. We hope you'll be watching. Until the next time, I'm Carlos Garantuay. And I'm Emily Gonzalez. Thanks for joining us.